Hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Um, there's going to be no snazzy intro, no call to action, no background music. I'm just laying in my bed. There's not even good lighting where I'm at right now. This is just going to be real. It's going to be raw, minimal editing, if any at all. Bound for Glory is in nine days. Today's the 11th, right? Nine days? I ask you, as a passionate fan, as someone who loves this company, where's the buzz? Where's the excitement? Where's the chatter? I'm someone who has spent the last several years being a content creator in support of the company I love watching, and I have nothing to talk about. Nothing. My YouTube traffic this month has been really low because there's nothing. There's nothing. No one's searching for anything. No one cares. Outside of the main event for Bound for Glory and Moose versus Shamrock, I don't care about the rest of that card. Do I think I'll, will I be in, you know, will I enjoy the card? Do I think it'll be good? Do I think the matches will be good? I shouldn't say outside of those two. I, I'm excited about Marafuji versus uh, Michael Elgin, too. But outside of that, do I think it's going to be good? Yeah, I really do. Am I going to be entertained? Absolutely. But that's not enough right now. It is not enough to rest on your laurels and just put on a good show. All right, I just said minimal editing, and then my, my kid walked in on me as he does for most of my podcasts and <laughs> videos. But it's not enough. So a lot of people assume as a content creator supporting impact that I'm some kind of impact TNA mark, you know, say hi to my cat back there. That's what people, you know, a lot of the times assume, uh, you know, I grew up watching WWE and there's a period of my life where I watched everything. I fortunately had a job where I could kind of prop up a, uh, a tablet and just kind of, you know play stuff while I was working or whatever. So I, I followed everything for a while. And then, you know, life got to a point where that wasn't really an option for me anymore. So I decided that I preferred TNA. And this was during, this was the middle of 2016 where, I mean, there was no momentum. The company is in a real bad spot. But for whatever reason, that was just the company I liked because they didn't ask a whole lot of me. They weren't asking me to watch them three, four, five days a week. You know, they just gave me the one show a week and it was it was easy for me to follow. And I enjoyed it to the point that, you know, I wanted to start covering it. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not some kind of mark. But I'm at a point in my life now where I actually have interest in watching other companies and, and I've been able to make the time to watch Women of Wrestling, AEW, and now NWA. So for a long time, it was just Impact. You know, I was able to follow Lucha Underground a little bit. So right now, there's a lot going on. And I'm watching a lot of wrestling. A lot more than I have in a long time. But there's a lot going on right now. Every company is being talked about. No company has a pay-per-view coming up here shortly that I can think of. I guess WWE always does. But I'm talking about like this month. You know what I mean? Um, everyone's talking about AEW. Everyone's talking about NWA. I wouldn't be surprised if that NWA on YouTube has more viewers than Impact on Pursuit has got the entire year, including Twitch. Um, Ring of Honor has no buzz right now, so you know they're they're in Impact's c company right now. They just had a pay per view, and and people didn't even know that they had a pay per view coming on. That's you know how much people are talking about them. WWE, good or bad, you know, people are always, always, they're always in people's mouths. Um, NXT, you know, they're, they're, they're live now. People are talking about their show. And we got Bound for Glory coming up. And they always say, biggest show of the year, biggest show of the year. And every year, Slammiversary has way more buzz than Bound for Glory. Every year. 
There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to get excited about. There just there just isn't. And when you have have a card that's built so randomly, you know, one of the matches features the Rascals. We haven't even been on Impact Television wrestling in several weeks. And that was like the third match they announced. And then you got half the competitors. I'm, let me not be dramatic. A third of the competitors who aren't even there wrestling on the product right now. But the positive I'll say, I've, I've been saying, is that Bound for Glory is full, full of first-time matches. Full. Every match but the main event. First-time matches. So, that I commend. But there's more promotion going on right now for... All Glory, which doesn't even feature Impact Stars. Um, this throwback whatever show they're doing, which I, I I dig the posters, I do. But that's where there's like this disconnect in in Impact's marketing. Like, what is what are the, what are you promoting? You know, other than a, a little paragraph on the website about they're taking it back, doing it old school, whatever they said. What? What are we, what's, what are you promoting? Like, what are, what's different about this show? Like, we don't have a fucking clue. It's just posters, you know, which are cool and they're funny and they're different. But you're promoting that. You're promoting all glory. And uh, talk about dropping the ball on Shotzi Blackheart. If she really did sign with NXT. Talk about fucking dropping the ball there when, when she was right there in your, your lap at one point. She's in the main event of fucking All Glory. <laughs> I mean, shit. Um, but you're promoting shit that has nothing to do with Bound for Glory. And then you're trying to, you know, promote the move to Access TV. That's so I would imagine that's pretty difficult to do. You got to promote a, the big pay per view and let people know, hey, on October 30th or whatever it is, where you know first Impact coming to Access TV. So you know, I get that. It's not easy. I'm not saying any of this shit's easy, but I've been saying this since I started this fucking YouTube channel. If you don't have any news, create your own fucking news. I'm going to give you an example of this just happening with AEW, for instance, when they, they, they got a little flack here for a little bit because they had said, oh, we have this badass UK TV deal. Turns out it's not that great a deal. And this is the first time people are legitimately complaining about the company. And it's funny because even people in the States are, are bitching about it, you know. But this was kind of a not good for PR. So what they do the next day, you know, they, they partner up with a UK promotion where WWE pulled talent from them from the very at the last minute. I don't remember what company it is. And they gave them Sean Spears and MJF. Say, hey, maybe we can help. And they came in to save the day. And huge PR, PR move. They took the initiative to say, okay, we had some some negative press yesterday. Let's make some good press happen today. You know, you create your own news. You create your own momentum when there's none there. F find a way to get in people's mouths. The wedding and all that, the Sammy Callahan, Brian Cage angle, I think is great. The Moose and Sammy Callahan stuff is great. Other than that, it just feels like we're watching an episode of Impact with some matches we've never seen before. And, I, and I'm going to reiterate, it's going to be good. Bound for Glory is going to be good. I'm not dogging it in that sense. It's going to be good. But nobody's talking about shit. Google, I do this every single time that Impact announces something. Google it. Wait, give them like five hours. Google it. See how many websites are carrying that information. You might get one. Maybe two. When Mara Fuji was announced for Bound for Glory, nobody covered that. And that's for two for, for a good 24, 48 hours. That's for one or two things. Either Impact's not sending out Press releases, which we know, uh, I think Court Bauer might have, not Court Bauer, but, uh, crap, I forgot his, I, was, I always come, uh, Ross whatever, um, I forgot, not the one with the impact, I always co confuse him. He has said, 
we don't receive press releases hardly from Impact. You know, so that, that that's one of it. One of them. The other is that Impact failed to make it important. You know, to me, Marafuji is a big fucking deal. But they they just on the marketing side of things have had this inability for years to make really cool things and really cool concepts important like the call your shot god we have nothing since the call your the, whatever call your shot gauntlet since that was announced we have nothing to talk about they haven't given a shit and that's something that we should be actually excited about cuz the the gauntlet i mean they they could um okay so 20 people are in this gauntlet and i get that you want to have surprises you're going to tell me, so there's nine days left. Say yesterday, ten days. You can't announce half the field. You can't one tweet at a time, one social media post at a time. Say who's going to be in the fucking gauntlet? A any other company would do that, you know? Um, or do it on YouTube. Do it, do it, get, get some, get some um, revenue out of it. Announce one person a day on YouTube. Promote it on your social medias. Cross-promote on those platforms. Bounce them over to YouTube so that you can hopefully gain some new subscribers in the process. Up your Bound for Glory traffic. And announce one a day. Have have one of the backstage girls do it. Don't have Josh Matthews. You know, make, make, make it someone, someone attractive and sexy. You know? Announce one person today for the gauntlet. Simple. Make your own fucking news. Thanks for checking this out, folks. Let's hope by the time this is uploaded that we have something to talk about and get excited about for Bound for Glory. Thanks for checking me out. I'm out. Peace.